Hi, and welcome to Matt's Garage. Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, and for the rest of us, Festivus. For those of you who don't know, Festivus is a holiday that dates way, way back to the 1990s. Uh, last year, if you remember, I made a video on how to restore your Festivus pole. You can see a link right here. So today I'm going to show you real quick how to make your own first Festivus pole. Let's get to it. First, the ingredients. So you need a pole, regular bedroom closet pole. And what's nice about that is it comes with, I mean, you can buy separately end caps, these nice chrome end caps for it. On one end, on the bottom, you buy one of these door stoppers, you take it apart, you take this rubber stopper out, and that's going to be one end. And then on the top, you're going to have a, an elf, uh, elf hat, courtesy of Nicole Seeger. Thank you, Nicole. Um, the reason for the bumper is when people are airing their grievances, as is, of course, tradition and, and good for America and, and good for the world, um, they tend to slam the pole down, which is a modern American take on, on the ancient Festivus tradition. So if you don't have a cap last year, it was an uncapped pole. You guys were slamming it down. It was leaving little crescent-shaped marks on the hardwood floors, which nobody likes. Um, you're going to need a light string that's LED powered from Home Depot for like uh, $1 or whatever it costs to make these in China these days. Maybe some zip ties, maybe some electrical tape. And, uh, and the hardest part is actually figuring out how to get the power supply for the LED lights onto the pole because people slam the pole down. This thing tends to be made of really kind of cheap plastic, so i uh, got to figure out a way to do that. But uh, let's get to work. So first thing I like to start with is the uh, end caps here. I'm uh, going to take an automatic centering punch. Find approximate center there because this thing's pretty slick, so the drill bit will walk on you if you don't center punch it. All right, that's closer to center. Get the second one here. Spot on. Sorry for loud noises. Get the drill in there and work your way through. I am a professional. Not really. A fair amount of chips for a little chrome end cap there. It's because it's heavy, he heavy duty. All right, so punch a hole through that rubber. Let's go ahead and drill that out a bit. Okay. Got the hole there, got the hole matched up there. So even though the hole was off-centered, I just drilled it off-centered in there, and now I can center that thing. All right, got that, my impact driver on there, just give it a little whirl. All right, it's never going anywhere, so that's on there. Good and tight, little bumper for the bottom. All right, I'm gonna have to stop for a second and get this this off. This is terrible sticker. It's, I don't know who makes these stickers, but man, you know, you just cannot get it off of one piece. So, so let me try some acetone. Let's try the hotel room key, huh? Traveling have its, has its benefits. Same, sort of the same deal with the topper. Make sure you don't drill into your hand here. This is a safety no-no. Okay. Got that on. Got my topper. Beautiful. Put that aside for now. Keep it clean. Let's turn our attention to the lights. What you want to do is locate your top light and screw it into the top of the pole. Make sure it's well below my line here. It's going to be below that point. I'll put some Loctite. Okay, get that started. And Make sure the washer's over it. 
I don't want to crimp the wires too tight, but you put that Loctite on there, so that should not work its way loose. All right, now we're going to candy cane this around. Adjust it till you're happy with the spacing. So first I'm going to center punch this plastic here. Hope it doesn't shatter into a million pieces. Okay, I'm going to drill that out. Again, get some Loctite. Tighten those bad boys up. Not too tight now, all right? I mean, you just need it snug. You don't want to put too much strain on the plastic. And then let the let the Loctite do the work, all right? And then we put this back over. Hopefully that shuts. So far, so good, all right? Put this end cap on with the terrible, the terrible set screw. So grip tape, you want it at the, you want it at a good height, you know, not so high that the short people are struggling to reach it, but not so low that it's awkward. So I'm basically going to put it in this range. Is that good? Yeah. for the piece de la resistance. Get that up there. There you go. Put it on. Happy Festivus! See you next time on Matt's Garage. Mm -hmm.